Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, it is going to be like a, not a makeup tutorial, but I'm going to be showing you how I did this little glam look, as well as talking about just what's going on in the world and life in general. I did this makeup look on TikTok the other day and a lot of people liked it and they wanted to know how. So that's why I thought I'd do this look whilst getting ready and having a little chit chat with everyone. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so starting off, I have already shaved, moisturised and primed my face. I use the same Lancome moisturiser and the same YSL primer that I use in my everyday get rid of me. Um, I just thought everyone was find it boring if I just did that over again. So, yeah. Um, and today I'm actually not going to be using a Fenty foundation, I'm going to be using this MYX one. I haven't tried it yet, so fingers crossed. I mean, considering I haven't used concealer or anything yet, it doesn't look too bad. Obviously, you can see my acne because I've had a bit of a breakout there. But as I say, I haven't concealed anything yet, so. You know what, the foundation, it's not bad, but it's not as full coverage as the Fenty one. So, the Fenty one is still going to be my go-to one. So now I'm concealing. Actually, um, I'm using a Revolution one today. I used to adore Revolution, like I used to use all their products all the time and I think when Fenty came up with theirs, I think I just like tried Fenty out for a bit and obviously because of the formula and all that, I just fell in love with that and forgot about Revolution. But I still use the Revolution bronzers and that all the time. I'm just brushing over a Lucia powder now, just to make that more matte. But um, if I forget to say what products I'm using in this video, um, I'll link everything down below. Oh god, I've got powder all over <laughs> I'm now using the Doll Beauty Bronzer in Medium. Um, I feel like I, I'm just trying to get my face out the way and then I'm going to have like a proper... I'm going to get into conversation because I can't concentrate when I'm doing this. Um, I'm not good at multitasking. So yeah, I'm sorry, I know I said I was going to start posting YouTube videos every Wednesday if possible, but because of what happened last week um, with the huge Black Lives Matter movement, I didn't want to drown out any important voices that need to be heard. So I took a week off posting on Instagram and posting on YouTube. Um, I didn't completely stop, I was posting stuff to help, you know, to spread awareness on Instagram, but my main content posts had stopped for a week. So I'm back to posting normally now and stuff. Because as I said, I said I'd try and post YouTube videos every Wednesday. I might change the day at some point because Wednesday's a bit random, isn't it? But it's just convenient for me at the time. So yeah, I'm back to posting normally now. Obviously, I mean, even before that movement, I was always preaching for equality on TikTok and Instagram in general. But I am still going to be helping to add to that movement until there is um, justice. Because obviously it's okay saying like, oh, everyone has the same rights, but at the end of the day, everyone's not treated the same, are they? And being someone from the LGBTQ plus community, I can't relate to the struggle. I can't relate to the struggles of black people, but I have an idea of what it's like for people to dislike you or not agree with how you were born. As I say, I don't understand their struggles personally, but I have an idea of what it's like from a gay point of view. Oh, I'm just taking the same bronzer and I'm just like, like softening it out with a bigger brush. So I'm just, I'm so bad at doing tutorials because I just get, I lose track if I start talking about something else. There's just a lot of hate in the world at the minute, isn't there? I've seen a tweet on Twitter and I can't remember who put it on now, but it was, you know, saying like, why is racism a debate or something like, I think, it was something like, why are we debate? Yeah, I think it was like, why is racism even a debate? Something along them lines. I'm like, it's true. Like, why are people debating if some people should be treated um, differently because of the colour of their skin or sex or anything like that? I mean, it's 2020 and stuff like this shouldn't still be happening. Everyone just needs to learn to mind their own business. I'm using the same dandelion blush as I did on my everyday one. Okay, um... Okay, now I'll do my eyebrows. 
for my eyebrows, I am just using that same Maybelline thing I use to my everyday get this video as well. Um, because I still have no, I, I've run out of my Anastasia brow pencil thing and my Anastasia brow pomade. So I'm using the Maybelline eyeliner again. Yeah, going back to um, the topic of Black Lives Matter, even though people shouldn't have to fight for their rights, I think it's helped also show a lot of people's true colours. Like the amount of big TikTok influencers I've seen do nothing, or they've just posted, you know, like a little quote, or they posted their Blackout Tuesday thing, and that's all they've said. And it shows that like some people do not care because they're just happy with the privilege they already have. And I don't understand how even like like there's so many. Oh my god, can I actually speak? There's so many people in the LGBTQ plus community. And they're not even doing anything to stand up for black rights. Like, they know what it's like to be discriminated against. But at the same time, I'm seeing a lot of black people say how being gay isn't the same as being black. And obviously, they're not the same thing. But it's like the same concept of people hating you for how you're born. Like, gay people being racist, there's just no need for that diversity when everyone's just fighting for their... Everyone's just trying to fight for equal rights in general, so... And I just don't understand people who want to hate for the sake of it. It really does confuse me. I just can't wrap my head around it. But wow, yeah, six months into 2020 and so much has happened. I mean, we've had COVID, we've had the Black Lives Matter movement. Aliens were spotted by NASA. Iggy Azalea's had a baby. The whole Jeffrey Epstein scandal. Have you seen that on Netflix? Such a weird documentary. If you get triggered by things, I wouldn't watch it, but... It is quite an interesting documentary to watch, um, to find out what, how people in power get away with stuff. Okay, what am I doing? Ah, I'll do eyeshadow now. So for eyeshadow, I'm using the Huda Beauty Rose, Rose Gold Palette Remastered. So to start off, I'm using Sandalwood, just to, like, as a base, base transition, I don't know what it's called, but yeah. I just said in my last video, I don't know the correct terms for anything. I just know where people put them on their makeup videos and I copy it. Also, I know a few people ask why I don't do my makeup in my makeup room for videos. Obviously, when I'm actually getting ready, I do my makeup in there. But it's hard to film in there because of the lighting. It really washes out some stuff. Sorry, I have to concentrate on it. It really washes out um, some eyeshadows on camera or bronzer and that, and it just looks weird overall. So I prefer to film in natural lighting until I have better lights than just the ring lights I have. And I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out that first colour, well, as much as I can anyway, so it doesn't look as harsh. Okay, the blending looks a bit harsh on this, but in the mirror it looks gorgeous. See, it doesn't look that bad there. Now I'm just taking this, I wouldn't say it's little, but it's like a little fluffy brush. I'm going in with black truffle. I need to be careful now because this could make or break the look because it is such a dark pigment. I'm just tapping that on. Like, the corner. Oh god, no, I think I've ruined it. No, it's okay, I think I've And like just create like the same sort of shape she did with the first colour, but not as big, like a smaller one. But miss out the space in the middle. You'll see what I mean in a minute. You see what I mean in the middle, like there's a little gap there. Okay, I'm gonna do that. The exact same thing on the other eye. But yeah, how's everyone been getting on in lockdown then? I'm honestly at this point, I'm not that bad. I just can't wait to see everyone like I'm, i miss social in can't get my words out i miss oh my god yeah like i'm honestly enjoying lockdown a lot more than i thought it would other than the fact like you can't see people that you want to like i just miss seeing my friends and all that i'd see most of my friends like on a weekly basis like you know especially on weekends and i haven't seen some of them for like three months now so like that's had a bit of an impact but Luckily we have Snapchat and Instagram and all that so you can still speak to people and FaceTime. 
but still it's not the same as seeing them in person is it now i'm taking a weird brush this isn't morphe e62 brush but i'm going in with henna this like slightly darker color i'm like putting that just on the edges of the black to try and blend it all together and it's not going well <laughs> okay i'm gonna go back in with that fluffy blush blush brush and blend just so it doesn't look like block 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 <sighs> now we're moving on to the glitter breather so now i'm taking this a really small flat brush and this concealer tiny bit on okay not any more than that okay and then right down like the center where you've left the gap try and make it easy as even as possible on both eyes but just tap it down the middle like right up to the top obviously you can use like a proper eyeshadow base if you have one but i prefer concealer i'm now taking a steeler liquid eyeshadow in wanderlust and on top of it I've just cut the concealer i'm just going to do a little line of that i'm not going to use this doll beauty little shimmer and gobstopper this little gold one and using that same brush i used to put concealer on i've cleaned it obviously since using the concealer i'm just going to tap that into the pigment and then i'm going to put that over where i've just put the liquid eyeshadow and then using that brush I used before, you know, like to blend it a bit together more. I'm just going to go with the sides of it. Just lightly. Now I'm going to do like my under eye. And for that, I'm just going to take that sh that same darker brown shade, Henna. And I'm just going to go just underneath my eyes like that. And I'm going to take this tiny eyeliner brush and dip it into that black eyeshadow again. And I'm just going to run that along my waterline. And now an even smaller brush. I'm going in with the black truffle again. And I'm just gonna do a little arrow, would you say? You know, just to make it a really snatched eye look. Okay, now I'm going to do mascara. I'm just using this Maybelline Great Lash one. Now I'm doing highlighter and I'm using the Doll Beauty Duo highlighter. Shine bright like a diamond. It's a dull light duo. I don't know what I, I don't know its proper name. I'll find out though. And I'm just gonna take this fluffy dome brush and then I'll just lightly tap it on both of them. And then just and then for my brow bone and nose, I'm gonna take this little small brush, tap that in and just do the exact same method just slightly brush over the part I want to highlight so tip my nose the bridge and then my brow bone okay where am I up to ah lips okay so for lips I'm using an NYX lip liner in shade intimidate and I probably shouldn't sharpen it before but I can't be bothered and I just shape out the shape <laughs> I'm just going to stencil out the shape that I want my lips to be And then once I've stenciled the shape around, I just fill in the corners with the same lip liner. Okay, I'm now going to fill in the remainder of my lips with this MAC Lipstick in shade Yash. And I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Okay, now I only need to do lashes and honestly I'm quite gutted. I don't know where I got these lashes from, I assume I got them from Amazon. But I can't find, you know in your order history, I can't find them there. And I know they're not Doll Beauty or Tatty Lashes. But they're really cute, so I'm really sad that I can't find out where they're from because I don't know how I'm going to order them again. But to glue them down, I'm just using the duo um, glue, as always. You know what though, since we went into lockdown, I've not been able to sleep properly at all. I'm just waking up at really random times. Like, I have no routine anymore. I'll wake up, do my makeup, eat, shower, sleep. It's a really weird cycle. Um, so if anyone knows any techniques or any apps that help you get to sleep or normalise a pattern for you, please let me know. I 
I don't know, I'd say we're okay, we're done. And look at that, the embarrassment. Okay, and that's my makeup complete. I'm gonna go and do setting spray and fix my hair. Um, the setting spray I'm using is the Urban Decay All Night One. But yeah, so I'm gonna go and sort this quickly and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoy getting ready with me and having a little chat. I have missed uploading content and I don't feel like I'm as awkward as what I used to be. Obviously I'm still not 100% but I'm definitely getting better. And as I was saying before, I am going to attempt to post every Wednesday. That day might change later on in the year depending on my social life and work life when I go back to work eventually. It just depends on what days I can film and then have them ready to upload for. So I will have one consistent day in the end, but for now it's Wednesday and we're sticking with Wednesday for now. Also, speaking of life not being normal at the minute, I know there's a lot of tension, everyone's feeling some type of way in lockdown. So if you do feel upset, down, anything like that, feel free to message me on Instagram. Um, you can comment on TikTok or Instagram if you want to, but if you do want to have like a proper meaningful chat, do feel free to DM me and I'll try and get through them all as much as I can. Obviously now that my giveaway's ended, my DMs have calmed down a lot, so I am able to see more people's messages now other than the stories and entries. So yeah, if you do need to talk, my DMs are always open. But yeah, that's it for now. So if you enjoyed this look, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. I'll leave all the other links to my socials down below, as well as all the products I used in this video. And that's it. See you soon. Bye.